So you bought an album, and because you bought an album, you got a photo taken by the shop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, basically, yeah. So what have you been buying? What have I been buying? Um, well, uh, well, I've only had... Do you know what? I think... Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see it behind me here. Damien uh, Lewis. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know he'd made an album. Made an album. What I will say about Damien Lewis's Mission Creep album is I wouldn't say he's the greatest vocalist, but it's the worst album cover what ever. Type, what type of music is that? Um, I don't know what the best way to describe it is. In fact, I'll tell you what. If I go into the album on Discogs... I mean, is it with it, a guitar type band? Is he's it got that? a yeah, an acoustic guitar. It's very sort of um, jazz rock. Okay. I know he played because um, Chris Harper from the Big Sugars told me he played Silverstone last year at the Grand Prix. Um, but it does have a couple of covers in there. I always remember it's, him from Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers, yeah, yeah, where he uh, he was very good in that. As Major Dick Winters. Uh, it's got a couple of covers on it. After Midnight by J.J. Kale and Harvest Moon by uh, Neil Young. So I got that this week. Like I think I said to you, it is the wor- it's up there with Flowers in the Dirt. What were they thinking of with that one? I mean, the back's okay. I think but Flowers the f- in the Dirt is better cover better. than that. Yeah, I do as well. I think that is... The back cover looks even worse, to be honest. Do you reckon? What's it? To me, that looks like... That look, I, I did say, didn't I? It looks like a member of a boy band who's gone solo, his album or something. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not the best. It just looks... To, to Damien Lewis, with all that money and influence you've got, you could have got better artwork. Talking direction. of albums by actors, have you ever heard any of the albums by um, the guy from The X-Files? David Duchovny? Uh, yeah, have you ever heard any of the albums he made? No, no, but I know he's made albums. I've, I'll tell you what. They are a lot... I was surprised because they were a lot better than I thought they would be. Better than um, uh, William Shatner? Probably, yeah. Huh. Um, honestly, we might have to do, a, might have to do a, a review of those at some point. I was, I was really quite... I thought, oh, this is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. But I'm digressing from your vinyl. Yes, well, I've been good this week because I've only bought... I've only bought a couple. Now, I'm just trying to find something. Um, If you just bear with me one second, because I was tagged in a post yesterday. Um, There's a... uh, uh, There's a... There's a record shop in town that I went to yesterday. Um, Can you imagine I've... going back to the 90s and uh, what are you looking for? Can you imagine going back to the 90s and seeing a, a premonition of yourself 30 years later saying, I was tagged in a post yesterday. And you'd have thought, what the hell is... Th- what? I was tagged in I a know. post? What does I that know. mean? Or selfie. Tagged in a post. Yeah. What could that, actually, what could that possibly mean? Look, look, yesterday, here we go. There you are. There I am. There I am yesterday. Me looking happy. Big orange coat. Look at that wow. with my um, studio assistant with me. And I bought this album here um, by an artist called... Uh, it's Somebody's by Sunscreen. As you can see, it's signed. It was only £5 as well because there's a little bit of sleeve damage. You can see it's... The vinyl's straight, that's fine, but it's signed and there's a little bit of wear here. So I got it for £5. It's a bit of indie rock. I've never heard of them before. Uh, I've not even listened to them, but I like the album cover, so I was like, Ugh. and it's signed, and it's only £5. So I'm going to buy that. So I got that. I can't tell you anything about it. Well, I've got, I might be able to tell you something about it, because we can have a look. What's the on, name of the band again? Uh, Sunscreen. So I'm going to go into, because it's obviously I've logged it in my Discogs collection. So Sunscreen, they are, oh, he's got nice hair. Look at him, he's got nice hair. Um, not though anybody should ever be based 
on there. And there's literally nothing on here to tell me um, what they are or do. Let's have a look at Bandcamp. They've got a Bandcamp website. Including, uh, da, da, da. Oh, they're from Bristol. Um, and it says here, the album Somebody's invites you on a dreamlike madcap trip. So, um, an adventure island surrounded by waves of nostalgia and built on a foundation of blissful retrocentric rock. Somebody's shape a world over the course of 10 impeccably produced pop nuggets that distorted yet inviting, told from the point of a view of a band looking back at their youth. So that sounds quite good, don't it? It does. So, yeah, so I got that. Um, and that was from um, just just for the record in Rugby Town Centre. Uh, so if you can support your local record shop, go out, go out and do it. It's a genius name for record shop, isn't it? I wonder if it's been used before, but it's just, yeah. What a name, no, I don't think just it has. for the I record. Th- I think that's, um, yeah. Is that sarcasm there, Philster? No, it's clever. I, I honestly, if I was having to brainstorm names for record shop and I came up with that, I'd say, stop the brainstorm. We've, we've got it. I mean, I can't think of anything, but, you know, it's good. Could have full record jacket. You could do. Whoever came up with that title is an absolute genius. Yeah. That's true. We were, we, it... we were brainstorming it for a long time, weren't we? And I can't remember what the other title was that we almost had, but then... Catch on came... the B-side. Um, ben, Ben's interesting show with Phil. Um, I don't know, we'd have to go back through our chats and find out what... Because I actually came up with the name Full Record Jacket, didn't I? You did. I don't know, but... I don't know how I came up with that. But... I think maybe I had actually kept... I don't know whether I actually kept. I do actually have a, a document, a note on here, with certain things that we kept. I've got a lot of the list of the early um, shows that we did, but I haven't got a list of the names that we were championing around. Don't think it's on here. No, there's a lot of these lists from some of our early shows. Favorite live albums. Do you remember that one? Yeah. Yeah. Favourite opening tracks. Have we ever done that? I don't know if we've no, ever we done that. No, we haven't. We'll have to do that. We'll have to do that. Face off. Be, be here now versus definitely maybe. I think we yeah, did we that, Yeah, we did didn't that we? one, didn't we? We've still got to rank, rank, got to say that right, rank Oasis albums. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. But anyway, last on my list, because I've been good this week, Phil. Yeah. Is... This album here by uh, it's called Drastic Measures by Bayonne, and he is Bayonne is the um, is he a rapper? No, no, no. His name is Roger Sellers, no relation to Peter, and he's a an American minimalist composer and electronic musician based in Austin, Texas, and I did play a little bit to. Um, Chris guess, from the Big Sugars, and yeah. he really he, he thought it was really good, so it's well worth a listen. I think. What's his What's his name again? Uh, it's Bayone or B A Y O double N E. As you can see, he's he's getting proper into it there. Look. <laughs> Is he anything like DJ Shadow or anything like that? No, no, no. It, I would say it's like indie, indie electronic pop. And does he sing? Yes. Okay. Interesting. Let's so you have to put that on. So this is the 2019 album, um, Drastic Measures, um, and I've got it on light pink vinyl. So there you go. But that's all I've I've purchased this week, Phil. But like I said, I've been good. I've been good. I've been very, very, very good. I'm just double checking to make sure that been. is all all I have bought. But yeah, that is it. That is just those three. So um, 
Yeah, go go check them out. Go listen to them, Phil. Do it. Do it now while I'm talking to you. Do it. Or just do it later when you've got more time. Whichever one suits. Don't let me bully you. Don't let me don't let me decide what you're gonna to listen to, Phil. You just do whatever you fancy. Don't be bullied into it. In fact, report me to HR. In fact, I'm gonna report me to HR for you for being such an insufferable bull bag. Thanks, Ben. No, my my pleasure, Phil. Thank you, viewer. What do you think of Ben's vinyl? You heard of any of that? Are you going to go and check it out on a stream? Let us know what you think. And we will join you again with another show very soon. Bye for now.